Icy conditions in the metro area have led to slick conditions on the roads. And it's not just drivers who are struggling. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom is live in northwest Portland where walking hasn't been easy either. Jeffrey, I can attest to that. The parking lot here and the street out front, crazy slick. Yeah, Pete, no kidding. You know, in fact, I was saving this for a moment away, but go ahead, Brandon, if you wouldn't mind. He's behind the camera working it, uh, panning down at my feet. These are road conditions right here, and look at this. Yeah, you can just slide around. We're at a road closure here off of uh, Northwest Cornell and uh, Miller, where we spoke with people who live around this area, uh, and they say they've just been getting hammered with snowfall the past couple of days. Oh, it's been bad. I mean, we've been uh, without uh, power for a couple of days, uh, frozen pipes as well. Cold <laughs> and icy and snowy. A slick walk for Christian Guerra, who is out inspecting road conditions, finding some of them closed. It's already very slippery around here, so I expect it's going to be very tough conditions later on. A wise prediction as driving conditions in northwest Portland worsened over the evening. Rain turning previous snowfall that led to road closures to slush. That started to get messy and to freeze. Jell Crane saved his chores for a poor day, hoping for a warm spell. He says never came. Tried to get to new seasons, but they were locked up tight. Born and raised in Portland, I don't think I've ever seen weather in the teens. As weather conditions put Crane's four-wheel drive to the test, he's foregoing his shopping plans. When the freezing rain started coming down, I thought, uh-oh. It's just like someone had blasted my windshield with a shotgun or something, and uh, it's a grim night out here, so I'm not going to look any further. I'm headed home. A grim night, accompanied by few cars on the roadways, but Peabot crews can be seen out and about treating them and even helping Merlin Ramsey, who's hard at work. Just shoveling some snow before the uh, next round of uh, ice comes in. He, his partner Mindy Faulkner, and their dog have been without power for some time, and we're happy to see it finally come back on. They say their house is finally warming up. A fire and some French onion soup. <laughs> this is Melvin, a dog that's actually from Hawaii and actually really digs the cold weather. <laughs> you know, uh, Merlin says that he's planning on channeling his inner Melvin as the freezing rain comes through. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to channel my inner dog that likes the snow, man. I wish I had my sled. <laughs> <laughs> on the roads, those we spoke with are cautioning drivers to remain wary of the conditions. Definitely just like keep it nice and slow, look out for each other, try to be patient with each other. I'm not headed someplace uh, in a hurry, not on a night like this, no thanks. People in cars in uh, freezing rain, I do not mix. That's what kills people. I just try to get home in one piece. Throughout the night, we've seen all kinds of uh, precipitation that led to slushy roads as well as frozen roads, all kinds of different things. I don't know exactly why this road is closed. It's been closed since we've been here today. So perhaps something happened with uh, the past several days that led to perhaps a power outage or something along those lines, um, down tree, something like that. But what I can say is that things are really slick out here right now, as you can see. Kudos to Brandon, who's operating a candle. Uh, Cameron should be in ice skates. Reporting live from Northwest Portland, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 12 Oregon.